What is up, everybody? Jason here for Jaspies. We just sold out 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby 12 box case break PYT number one. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So here's everybody that's in the break. Covering our last one, Mojo Giants there, plus some other teams. Thank you, buddy, as always. And here's Hobby Edition, guys. So this is all card shed. Remember, only one autograph per box, but it is 12 boxes. And obviously, Hobby usually, I feel like, sometimes has a lot more color. So I think a lot of people like ripping some Hobby. Obviously, a lot more cheaper, too, as well. With Jumbo being, you know, 400 plus and Hobby only being around 200 plus. So, makes sense. And since I'm going to pull you a Jackson Holiday today, yeah, there you go. Just already predicting the future. I like it. So again, as always, I'm going to rip like half the cases, half the case at a time, and then we'll go through each one. We'll go with the next half. So Jumbo was taking me about like 30, 35 minutes. I figure Hobby would take me an extra 10, 15, so maybe 45, 50. We'll see though. I mean, it's a less, lot less cards, but more packs are up, so more time consuming on that end. But uh, we actually don't have too much hobby, so I don't know if you're going to see another hobby case be posted after number two. I mean, you might, but we have a lot more jumbo and obviously Breaker's Delight, so. So much different only hitting like four cards a pack or ripping four cards a pack compared to, you know, with a jumbo, I have like 12, 24 packs, 24 cards.
will know exactly what I didn't want. Dude, that's like, that's like being the guy that drops Jenga. Jenga! Bro, my first case of Topps Chrome, trash compared to what my second case was. It was the craziest case. She had like all the biggest rookies. Anna Jackson Holiday, the 250 auto. She was wild. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's either really good or really bad so far. <laughs> What's up, Pizzle? Getting some, some Topps Chrome today or what? Big day for baseball today. So, what do, what do you mean? Last box here and then we'll go through the six. Yeah, I can see your valid points. I feel like the three auto hobby, three auto jumbo, sorry, was a lot is a lot better than than the five auto jumbo. I get it, people love autographs, but come on, I mean realistically the years that had five autographs, how many of those were actually good? You were looking for maybe one. I feel like so far, like in some case, like the second case we did was a lot better, right? I feel like we were getting, you know, one really good one in every box. And like a second decent one, you know? Where I kind of didn't like it when they were five. And I would literally, it's like contenders, you know, where you're literally only chasing one. And even that one might be bad. At least now with three, I feel like they've improved it a little bit. But, I mean, 
the price goes up because I mean the hobby's grown, right? I mean, that's what, that's what it is. People hyping it up. I mean, that's just what happens. You know. But yeah, I mean, of course, five autographs sounds a lot better. But I, I see your valid points, though. I mean, I, I feel you. I mean, I do. I do love that they created a Breakers Delight version. I mean, let's just be honest. Chrome water, Chrome base is great and all, but you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't really like it. So I love that they created a Breakers Delight version. Just get rid of that base and just worry about the colors and inserts and autographs. Now, I do feel like Breakers Delight should be at least three autos. I will say, instead of two, because it's about the same price as Jumbo, but. I mean, obviously, the way they get you is they're uh, they're getting you with like those, you know, youth quake inserts only there and whatever you can only find in Breakers. Of Life. So I get it. But uh, I mean, so far, like I said, we had one really good case and one really well, not really bad case, but just one that wasn't great. But I kind of like the design. I mean, obviously, it's the same design they used this year, changing it all up. Looks pretty awesome, though. I mean. I mean, I'm sure if you get the itch and you get the feeling like you have lately, you'll get in and then you'll pull something big. But if not, always good. Just to enjoy it in the sidelines. Cade Marlowe to 299. I expect it to be a lot better color in here, though. I will say, rookie rush. I don't know how hobby's gonna be, but I expect this one to be a lot more nice color and stuff. Jackson Ruffledge, Gunnar Henderson. Just like, you know, those times you popped in here and just did great. It's just you got an itch. Something was telling you to to do it. You listened and there you go. Kodai Sanga to three fifty. Jackson Sharia Refractor. And Jackson Merrill, a little hyper there. You know, I don't know if you're getting that feeling now, but, you know, Breakers Delight's close. <laughs> Maybe get the Angels, get an Otani buyback. <laughs> I'd bait you if the. If the Diamondbacks are still available. Jordan Lawler. Caminero, Stalling Marte. Heston Kerstad. Kerstad there, Soto insert. Gabriel Morena to Sawyer Gibson Long for Detroit. Runner Francis. Junior Caminero answer. Shota Imanaga. John Holy. Stephen Cole. Well, you know, they have uh, the buybacks in here, Joe. I pulled one of those earlier in Jumbo. So they had like a hyper that was stamped out of 150. And, you know, like the MVP ones. And then also they should have MVP buyback autos, too. So it should be an Angels uniform. I mean, Kev told me it was pretty rare. The hyper that we pulled out of 150, the MVP buyback, was one in every, like, 85 cases or so of Jumbo. Um, one in every 8,000 Jumbo packs or something like that. But, I mean, they're there. Devin Williams. But I didn't see the full checklist, but I know the buyback 
uh, is in there because we pulled one, but I'm sure the autograph buyback's there too. Dominguez. Yeah, yeah, remember those ones? The, you know, the ones we sent in to get some cash in the store. Chris Murphy to 50. Gold for the Red Sox one, Adam Kelly. So that's kind of a plus for the Angels. I mean, obviously, they're going to be rare, but there is a ton of chances. Spencer steered at 250. Tony Dodgers. I assume so. I'd have to. I'd have to look it up, but I, I assume they do. Because um, if they, it's, if it's going to be exactly like last year, they should have it. Let's take a quick look. I'm curious myself now. I'm pretty sure they do. Award, yeah, so they have MVP buybacks, Otani. Award winning variations, Otani. Okay, maybe they don't have the autographs here. Maybe they're saving that. But they do have MVP buyback, Otani, so. So that's like one of the ones we pulled. There is some Nolan Ryan, though, a lot of trout, obviously. Yeah, the only thing I see Otani is just for the award-winning variations. Oh, uh, does Acuna only have the buyback autos? Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, there's still, like I said, that Otani chance. I mean, plus a ton of other stuff. There's also Nolan Ryan, California Angels autos. Well, at least we pulled one of those buybacks then. That was kind of cool. I have to take a photo of it uh, after this break. The Angels do have a very, very big rookie checklist, though. Like a ton of rookies on this. I right, got you, Darvis, to one ninety nine. We swap this as a refractor there. And Hartwig Auto. Yeah, probably a lot. Maybe they're saving them for like update too. Um, I have Beckett. I'll I'll drop the link right here. I usually use Becca now, man. Carbo connection kind of basically shut down. Byron Buxton. At a 199. Soto, Jackson Holiday, Refractor, Shario, Gianner Diaz. Shota Imanaga, Rookie Rush. Juno Carmenero, Refractor. Ellie Insert. Ellie Hyper. And an orange Wade Meckler to 25. I wish that was Jung Lee. But hey, last one mojo there for Cup, though. First Dad, Refractor. Evan Carter, Dominguez,
Seth Lugo, 250. And Triolo to two ninety nine for the parts. What did I do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> mm. So, so, so I forced you to go click checkout, <laughs> log into your account. <laughs> That's why you hate me. Just mind control you. Click confirm. Good luck, buddy. All right, Breaker's Delight is down to four, guys. Or sorry, Hobby's down to three now, but Breaker's Delight's at five. Angels are 80 bucks in five. Cubs, 140. Where's, where's Rex at? Twins 20, Giants 120, and Blue Jays 40, guys. I want to do at least one delight today. Please, just let me do one. Joe can have the rest of them. But I do have enough time to do a hobby and a delight, so let's get that hobby done, too. Hypnosis is real, for real, right? I want to say, is Breaker's Delight the same way it was last year where the vet autos, the legend autos are are like only there? Or like can we pull them in here too? So I know that was also a plus about the Breaker's Delight. But they also had the vet autos, so like, for instance, if we pull it like a Nolan Ryan for the California Angels. I'm trying to remember if that's how it was. I think it was like that last year. You hate me again. Let's see. Let's see why you hate me again. Oh! 
So we taking Rax's hits now. I like the way you think, Fizzle. I like the way you do business. Yeah, I can't wait to pull you that shot that Imanaga. Super Fractor. <laughs> Where is that man at? He's probably sleeping right now still. He has, he has like the night shift like I do, so. Well, his is more mi real third shift, but he's probably sleeping right now, I assume. Well, by then I, I pull you that shot that you'll be able to rub it in his face. I've actually pulled a, a pretty decent amount of Shota Imanaga out of it, so. Definitely would love to continue that. I haven't really heard much about Shota lately. He, he must have kind of wind down, right? Either that or, like, the bullpen is blowing it for him after he gets out. That one dude on the Oakland A's yesterday that, that was an all-star that struck out Otani. Man, I'm a, that, I didn't realize that dude throws like an average like at 102. I was like, God damn. He's hitting like 104. It's ridiculous. I was telling Joe yesterday. He has to uh, he has to get out of he has to get out of Sacramento. Out of Oakland. Yeah, Skeens is it was so funny. Obviously, you know, he's dating that chick Livy. You know, very popular. I'm sure a lot of people have a crush on her. And uh, I seen this one guy. I seen this one post on Twitter. It was really funny. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big time pitcher in the MLB. Starter for the MLB uh, All Star Game. And I'm and I'm dating Livy. F you, man. <laughs> I was like, dude, it's okay, man. We can you can be jealous, but relax. I was like, he's winning on the field, off the field. Yeah, Ma I think his name was Mason Miller. The dude on the reliever on the Oakland. Six. Did I only rip six, five boxes earlier? Oh snap, I didn't realize I only ripped seven, five. There's an extra box here. What the hell, no one told me I only ripped five? I was supposed to rip six. So again, guys, let's try to have one of those breaks sold out before uh, before I finish this. So, Delight is down to four left, and Hobby is down to three left. So, like I said, I have just enough time to rip both of those. So, if we can get one of those sold out by the time I'm done here in the next 15, 20 minutes, that'd be great. Just, like I said, we just rock and roll right into it. Like I said, the hobby is going to take me a little bit more time, more on like the 45 minute mark or so. So, all in all, the printing out labels and all that, closer to like 50, 55 minutes, so it's basically an hour or so. If we can get that sold out by one, I'll be done by two, and then I have another hour to rip that delight or whatever else you guys want. But don't sleep on that delight, guys. It's really, really fun stuff right there, man. 
And like I said, you get exclusive stuff that you can only find there. And uh, I want to at least do one of those so we can pull some big hits early on. Like I said, we have a lot of the delight, but um, it'd be nice to get one of those done early so you guys can see what it looks like if you haven't already. Set momentum for the night. Yeah, no problem, Pizzle. Drive safe, man. Or, I don't know if you're out driving, buddy. Talk to you soon, buddy. Thank you. one here guys. So actually I thought I ripped six boxes earlier, but I guess I only ripped five, so this would be seven here.
All right, guys, here we go. Ellie. Ellie again. Jordan Alvarez to 99. And Averson Pereira, rookie autograph for the Yankees. One of Matt Smith. Brian Reynolds. So for a liquor refractor. And we got a relic, Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals. D wild that one. Dominguez, and then we got Slade. So 75 there for the Diamondbacks. And Matt Crook for the Yankees, back-to-back -back Yankee autos. Yankees, that's going to go to Matt Smith. Ellie Insert. Adam Carter. And we got a... Nolan Ryan for the Rangers. Ultraviolet Stars. That one's not numbered, it looks like, but it's a case hit there. Texas Rangers going to Adam Kelly. We got five more boxes to go, guys. Yanni Diaz to fifty. And Jordan Lawler, that that looks like a. I don't think I remember that being that Jordan Lawler's base rookie. Is that a? That's not a variation, is it? I don't know, they're ending all in 94, so this might be a variation, actually. I don't, I don't remember recognizing his looking like that. So that might be one. I'll have to double check if someone wants to double check that, but I'm pretty sure. Rafaela. Jason Lim. Corbin Burns. Out of 299. Ellie. Emmett Shaheen. 
and Luke and Baker. Next box. JJ Blade, a little negative. Camonero, John Holy, and AJ Smith Shalver. The Braves going to Chad Boar. And a red out of five, Logan Webb. Nice one. That's my first red today. Blast Ball Mojo Cup. Not the biggest player, but he's actually pretty good, though. Evan Carter. Rashida. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That looked like a variation to me, Kev, because he's not in motion. I feel like every single photo that's been on this so far has been him, has been a player in motion, whether it's throwing, running, sliding, diving. That one actually is just him kind of like just a still frame kind of deal. I mean, he might be just jogging, but yeah, it's definitely not the same. So that has to be a variation. And the CPU in the back is like... Um, Ending in 50 while everybody else is ending in 94, so that's definitely must be a variation. All right, three more boxes, guys. Okay. We got Jung Ho Lee, rookie rush. Another spot, last ball mojo there for Cup. Jackson Merrill refractor. Jackson Merrill there, Francisco Alvarez there for the Mets. Michael Garcia at 99 for Kansas City. And a Curtis Mead for Tampa Bay to 150. Tampa Bay Rays EA. Goldie to 199 and a Alex Pias purple speckle there to 299 
Kirloff to 199. Alrighty, guys, down to the final box. Perdomo to ninety nine. And Jose Dana. For the Cleveland Guardians to four ninety nine. Guardians, let's go to Scott. Shota Imanaga to 350. The Cubs going to EA. That's actually a pretty good color. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. So like I said, I sleeve up a lot so we can top load. So there's going to be a lot here, guys. All right. A lot of colors. Chilte was nice, right? A lot of colors here, guys. I'm not going to go through those, but I'll just go through the autos. Like I said, I'll top load these right now as well. But Dana for Cleveland, Spies for Texas, Meade for Tampa Bay, Shalver for Atlanta, Baker for St. Louis. Obviously, we've got a little case hit there, which is Violet All Stars, Nolan Ryan, Matt Crook. We've got a Relic Goldie, Everson Pereira for the Yankees, Triola for the Pirates, Harwood for the New York Mets, Murphy for Boston, Gibson Long for Detroit, and then Marlowe for Seattle. So I feel like autograph wise, this probably wasn't one of the better cases. Lawler variation out of five, Logan Webb. But like I said, every case is different. Kind of felt like that in the first case with Jumbo, and then the second case was just so much better. So, like I said, we got another uh, uh, hobby in the store that's down a couple spots left. Let's get that done. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.